Hello guys, this is Coding Code and this is video editorial for the problem the sports festival or uh, the C problem from Code Forces Div 2 round 715. So the problem is simple. You are given an integer array and you can you have to you are asked to rearrange them in such a way that minimizes S. And how is S defined? S defines sum of the an integer and how DIs are defined? DIs is defined and like these di is equals to maximum of first i elements minus minimum of first i elements so this is how di's are defined so for each for different arrangement the overall sum s may be different so we have to find an arrangement which minimizes the total sum s we don't have to print the uh, arrangement all we have to do is print the minimum possible sum s okay for example if input was this s would be zero because minimum of course maximum minus minimum would be zero in this case uh when i is equals to two these two elements are present so max is four min is two so four minus two is two and so on so s would be this for this configuration right so this is the problem statement the link of the problem i'll be pro providing in the description of the video so of course you can go through that uh problem yourself and read the uh, problem statement yourself if if this is somehow uh, confusing so how we'll solve the problem of course we have certain observations so first of them uh, first of the observation is this sort the array I mean uh, not it's not an observation but this is how we are going to solve this problem so first of all we'll be sorting the array and then the observation second is that either a1 or a n the first or the last element should appear at the last of your arrangement no matter what arrangement you choose either the first element will be appearing at that last of your configuration or the last element will be appearing at the last why is that so uh, let's try to prove it otherwise so let's just see why that is so suppose i had these eight elements and i have found certain of uh, configuration such that the first and the last element are already appearing in the first five element okay of my new configuration so 6 7th and 8th are the element we don't know the point is uh, the configuration that I've chosen I'm trying to prove that why this is true so configuration that I've chosen uh, for the first uh, five element first and the last element already exists so what would be d5 d5 would be 23 minus 3 right because this would be the minimum and this would be the maximum because these two elements are already present uh, for the first five element right so d5 would be 23 minus 3 that is 20 what would be d6 d7 and d8 you'd see that d6 d7 and d8 would be 23 minus 3 as well right because 3 and 23 the minimum the maximum uh, maximum element already exists till till uh, till a5 the fifth element and this would result uh, this would increase your s do not decrease because 23 minus 3 is the maximum di you can achieve so if somehow you have a configuration such that the minimum and the maximum element already exists before the last element that certainly won't be the minimum s okay that won't minimize the overall sum and that is why either the first or the last element should appear at the last so that only dn would be equal to uh, 23 minus 3 or the last element minus first element right so first observation is clear make sure you understand it why that is now let's go for the second observation now let's go for the third observation so suppose the input was this the sorted i mean uh, after sorting this is the input so if you see uh, we are sure that either the first element or the last element would be the last in our configuration right either the a1 or the nth element would be the last of our configuration or uh, of our arrangement right so this leads us to two different configuration first configuration uh first the sum configuration of first and minus one element and then last element would be the last this is the first configuration second configuration is that certain configuration of second to nth element that is the last and minus one element and the last element would be the first element right so you understand either the last element of our configuration would be nth element in that case we are left with rearrangement of first and minus one element right or the last element will be the first element of the input 
that means we are left with rearrangement of last and minus one element so these are two different configuration possible right now since this these two are the two different configuration the cost would be cost of rearrangement of first and minus one element the cost of first configuration would be cost of rearrangement of first and minus one element plus 23 minus 3 why because this is basically nth element minus uh, first element right because the last element is no matter whether first element or the nth element uh, dn always is going to be a n minus a1 and that is exactly what i'm having here so cost of rearrangement of n minus one element first n minus one element plus this cost right basically dn or cost of rearrangement of last n minus one element and again this cost because no matter whether it is configuration doesn't matter whether it is configuration one or two d5 would be i mean dn would be dn which is a n minus a n right so this cost would be there uh this cost may differ rearrangement of first and minus one element and this cost may differ rearrangement of last and minus one element what will be the total cost s s would be minimum of uh, cost of first configuration or cost of second configuration right because these are the only two possible configuration now here the question is how can i find the this minimum cost of arranging first five and minus one element or the minimum cost of arrangement of last and minus one configuration if i can get answer of these two i can certainly find out s right what would be s minimum of this comma this plus 23 minus 3 right that would be our answer now if you see here this is an interesting property because now to solve the original problem i have to solve this the smaller version of the same problem original problem is find the minimum cost of rearrangement of this array now to solve this what we have to do is solve a smaller version uh, i mean same version of the problem but small with smaller input so i now have to find out what is the cost of rearranging first n minus one elements or rearranging last n minus one element which you see, if you see this is exactly the same problem these two but with smaller input right with n minus one input if you see this is one of the properties of dynamic programming dynamic programming uh, one of the property which is opt optimal substructure property that means you can find the solution of actual problem uh, to find the solution of actual problem what you do you divide the problem in smaller sub problems solve those smaller sub problems utilize their result to find out the result of actual problem and that is exactly what is happening here now i need to find the solution of smaller sub problems using the solution of those smaller sub problems i'll be able to calculate solution of my actual problem this is actually optimal substructure property one of the properties of D dp so clearly we should be able to apply dp here and this is transitions of dp so if i show you if uh, dp of lr represents minimum cost to rearrange subarray from l to r then to find the solution it would be dp of one on uh, one through n which means what would be the cost to arrange rearrange subarray from one to n right that would be our actual solution and this is actually a n minus a1 right why because of course the last element uh, dn is always going to be dn uh, an minus a1 plus minimum cost to rearrange first n minus one element or minimum cost to rearrange the last n minus one uh, elements this is because we only have two different configuration right so you see here we have found the dp transition in general dp of lr would be a of r minus al plus minimum of dp of l comma r minus one or l plus one through r so this is our transition and using this we'll be solving our problem if i show you the solution this is here you can see for each length i'm finding i'm evaluating dp of ij and final solution would be dp of 1n right so how the solution work first of all dp of 1 1 2 2 3 3 4 4 5 5 would be zero right to rearrange one element the cost would be zero right and that is exactly what i'm initializing with and now this 
loop is to calculate all of the solution of length i right i is equals to 2 that means uh, all of sub array 2 length solution we are calculating here right when i is equals to 2 when i is equals to 3 all 3 length sub array solution will be calculating when i is equals to 2 i'll be starting from 1 2 2 3 3 4 and so on and that is how i'm calculating it as you can see ar minus uh, the solution that we have already built sorry this gp of ar minus al plus minimum of this one this one that is exactly what i'm calculating here so i'll be providing the solution this this code in the description of the video uh <clears throat> you can go through the solution to uh and use it as a reference to understand the solution better this loop is for length and this is actually calculating all length i sub arrays dp for dp for all length i sub arrays when length is equals to 5 i'll be starting from 1 5 2 6 3 7 and so on right so after pre-calculating all of the after filling all of the dp cells dp of 1n will be calculated and finally you can print dp of 1n so yeah this was all for this lecture of course if you have any doubt or query uh, you can ask in the comment section so this was all for this lecture thank you guys for watching and to the next video drops keep coding thank you